I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release me. As you wish. Alright, good morning, guys. Um, so today I'm going to take a break from playing on my Twitch channel today because I wanted to get an update for the cutscenes for Mysteries of the Sith. But just to let you know, though, I'll be back next week, next Saturday, 5.30. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be, I did not stream today. But don't worry, I'll be back next week. So, sounds good. I'll, let's get into the video now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, I wanted to do an update on where I'm at with the um, Mysteries of the Sith Remastered. Um, so, unfortunately, the cutscenes... Everyone's probably interested in that scenes. What's going on there? What's what's happening? So behind the scenes, I'd done a ton of research, tried to figure out how to get these cutscenes. Uh, mainly, the easiest part was basically recording them. That was easy, and I still haven't actually got them together to where they're remastered or whatever but i do have them all recorded here i do however probably do need to record them again though considering the quality of them is not the greatest um yeah, we'll just move forward and i'll show you see how it's kind of laggy so i need to redo it and then obviously the models aren't 100% there as well. I mean, they turn into it. See, like right there, the models turn into it fine. The problem I'm having, though, is um, I think my frame rate's just messed up. Um, so it's I'll have to re-record these. So that's no problem. Recording these is somewhat of a problem, but I just need to change my settings so that the frame rate is better. But for the most part, I've been able to successfully run basically all the cutscenes in a mode called Dev Mode. And so basically, here's the here's the next cutscene where he's fighting the stormtroopers. And notice the uh, uh, the ship is updated is the updated model and then finally Kyle Catan's model will update eventually but the stormtroopers are the updated model for some reason right here he's not the updated model until he gets to the ship and then he turns to the updated model I don't know what the heck's up with that but as you can see though we got the updated ship though and that looks pretty decent for that little ship you know the ship flying Parts and landing, I've, I've, they look pretty decent actually. The frame rate obviously needs to be fixed, and we'll record it again after that. But yeah, for the most part, these cutscenes aren't too bad. The stormtrooper models appear perfectly every time, so I'm not sure exactly why. And then this one's kind of weird because he's supposed to fall down there, but he he's still sitting there for some reason. I don't know what the heck's up with that one. But, but yeah, you can go into Mysteries of the Sith. There's a, there's a dev mode where you can go in and you can actually re, uh, just view all the cutscenes in a mode called dev mode. So, pretty exciting. As I said, though, it looks a little laggy, so I'm going to have to re record these. But yeah, for the most part, it does have the updated blasts and everything like that, so that's cool. That one. But see, for some reason, the model isn't updated there so I don't know what the heck's up with that but 
But yeah, this one, this one turned out is one of the better ones because it actually has all the models and all the ship models and everything. It looks pretty sick. There's X wings. There he goes in the shuttle. And there's an A wing, updated A wing. So that's cool. So that's pretty awesome. That one, that one was pretty good. Yeah, the yeah, this one is good in the sense of the Mari Jade model looks really great in this one. So, so as as far as you know, getting the cutscenes and recording them and getting them in the remastered look, um, it seems to be going okay. The problem that I've been having though is. Uh, obviously trying to so so here's the problem that i'm having so the cutscenes run from a video format that lucasarts invented i guess called dot san files and let me let me look that up, or let me show you so when you google that uh, I've been trying to find a way to convert the videos to this dot sand, but um, it's definitely not an easy task. And there's definitely no like easy like converter tool to just do it. So, um, so first of all, let's let's just go. Let's just do that. So I found this. Oh wait, yeah. That's different. So let's I'm gonna get into that later. So first of all, I was just trying to figure out what this dot sand was, and then finally well no, I found these scam sites where they're like, Hey, we can open your your dot sand file and they explain everything pretty solidly on like what it is and everything, but then it's like we'll open it with this program and it's like I don't need to open the dot sand file you dumb butt I need to convert video file to a dot sand and this just doesn't make any sense to me these silly like sites that are like oh we can open that file <laughs> sure you just want me to download your stupid program and then buy it no thank you I'm not gonna do that See, like, what in the world? File Viewer Pro. I don't need to view the .sand file. I need to convert it. But anyways, I looked around and tried to find a way to convert to the .sand file. And the only thing that I could find, well, obviously, first I found this FFmpeg. Um, and I found a site that said that it could convert to it, but when I downloaded this and went through the tutorial on how to use it and everything, uh, it didn't work. It wasn't able to convert it to a .san video file. So, long story short, then I found this form finally. So this person here, is it possible to create a new .san smush animation format file? Uh, I'm doing a mod for LA game or for a LucasArts game, but so far I haven't found information on how to create a new sand for the I I or from EG MP4 to sand. So this is exactly what I want to do. Someone comments and says our impressions scum sand tool could be interested to you. It will allow you to generate a .sand file directly from the MP4 file, but could be a starting point. It is. It was designed to work with games supporting Scum VM, though, and other games may be slightly different formats, but not supported. 
Also, if you want to generate a file that works for the original executable, you would need to generate an uncompressed .san. So, the reverse of what this tool is doing. As compression as compressed ones only work with scum vm uh but the code to extract the data from the sand, sand file and then regenerate the sand could still be useful so unfortunately this tool even though it can open the dot sand file and uncompress it it won't actually be able to compress it back to what we need so unfortunately we can't really use this but then this person posted this and said this tool uh the nutcracker tool should be able to do what we want and when i scroll down there is a way to use the nutcracker file to nutcracker smush decode and then that of course and then of course you need to encode one you use this but unfortunately the problem with this is i have no idea what this is saying or where i'm supposed to input these into or what because i downloaded the nutcracker uh program but or I guess there really isn't any. Like, technically, there is no like release or whatever. So there's not like a easy GU program to actually use this. So I'm gonna have to figure out a tutorial or maybe message this guy on this form to see if maybe I can get the files converted to a dot sand. So that's the only problem I've been having, and it's actually a pretty major problem to try to figure out how to get them back into sand files. So the reason I'll need it to be a sand file is because it's the only type of file because the cutscenes don't actually run in game. They run from these dot sand files. So if I can get them all com all updated to the latest remastered graphics and then somehow get them converted to that dot sand it's going to be the easiest way to update the cutscenes now maybe there's a way to actually have the game run the game the cutscenes in game rather than uh, rather than just rather than using those dot sand files um, but i'm not really sure how to do that so I'm going to have to reach out to some people who actually know how to mod and get some stuff done. So in my searches, though, I found this, this guy who has remastered the full throttle uh, game. And they use the same files, the dot .san files. So he took this extracted it took all the little frame by frames updated each one and then somehow uh and then of course he's on this air you know this little chart is pretty insane like how much he had to do and then after he updated them he then took all this stuff put them back together com compiled compiled compressed compressed combined frames Oh, here we go. Here he's using that nutcracker. He's using that dot nutcracker. So he's combining all the frames and the audio together. Actually, no, this is just the frames. So he's combining the frames and then he's got this snuff.exe that he somehow is able to to combine the audio and the and the video together and then finally bring it back to a dot sand video. So <laughs> This is definitely not <laughs> the easiest thing ever. This is insane how much work this is. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to figure it out, but I'm not sure. But I'm definitely not going to 
wait any longer. I'm going to get 2.0 released without updating the cutscenes. So I, I'm going to, I've been working on just getting the 2.0 remastered of Mysteries of the Sith together because I realized now that this is going to be an endeavor that will take a long time to uh, accomplish. So I'm not going to wait around. I'm not going to have you guys wait around for the newest version of the GFX mod and all that together in an installer. So I'm just going to go ahead and start releasing the mod. Uh, probably next week I have to go ahead and get the installer created. But before that I want to create a new uh, and improved um, installation and configuration guide. So we'll have to do that. And then probably next week we'll be having uh, Mysteries of the Sith Remastered uh, released. But I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on that. Um, oh yeah, and then also another thing that I was thinking of doing was, so I I found this guy on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. I'll bring this over here actually. Let me see if I can find it. I subscribed to his channel, but let's see. Find this. Yes, here it is. So, a long while back ago, there was a mod that was going to be created for. Uh, Jedi Academy that was going to feature Mysteries of the Sith and they basically um, this guy on YouTube in 2019 he redid the first cutscene so let's go ahead and watch that Very adept at using the force to anticipate my actions. Someday that insight may save your life. Ah! What's going on? Captain Guitar, report to Ops immediately. Captain Guitar, report to Ops immediately. Commander, what's the situation? We detected two asteroids approaching our atmosphere and thought they'd break up on contact. We became alarmed when they took up a geosynchronous orbit and began bombarding our shields. They appear to be some sort of new Imperial weapons, disguised as asteroids to take us by surprise. It looks like they were successful. It's not something you typically see in an asteroid. Sir, our long-range outpost on Delta III has picked up an Imperial strike force entering hyperspace. Using their last known course and speed, we estimate they will arrive within three hours. We can't get our evacuation shuttles off the ground with those asteroids pinning us down. And once the primary force arrives, we're done for. Sensors detect Imperial ground troops landing just outside our shields. Send squads two and five to Blue Sector. Tell all troops to prepare for ground assault. We still have a chance. I'm gonna see if I can borrow a shuttle from our visitors, then I'll see what I can do about those asteroids. I'm going with you, you're gonna- No, Mara, I need you to stay here to coordinate the base defenses. I'll signal you when it's clear to begin the evacuation. Better make it fast. We have less than three hours. And Katarn. Yes? Good luck. Thanks. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. So that's pretty awesome. Someone redid the first cutscene in Jedi Academy. And as far as I know, this guy is, uh, well, his last update was a year ago. But he has decided, so there was, there used to be a Jedi Knight remastered uh, mod back in the day. Uh, not Jedi Knight Remaster, what am I talking about? Mysteries of the Sith uh, mod for Jedi Academy back in the day, and it lost development and lost interest in that, and the team got dismantled and it, it went dead. 
lo and behold this guy a couple years ago starting in 2020 or at least it, it looks like maybe even 2019 or even four years earlier he's decided to start back work up now i don't know if he's still working on this or not but head over there tell him that we're still interested if he wants to continue this and yeah that would be awesome if he could get this game in jedi academy but here's another update looks like he's got the the catacombs so that's kind of cool so what I was thinking though was for the first cutscene I might as well just use this because like why not you know I could just use this it looks the models look identical to the remastered version because I'm pretty sure that's what they're using they're using the models from Jedi Academy for the remastered that's what they've done Excuse. So yeah, I was thinking of doing that, but the only problem I'm having is getting them converted to a .sand file. So that's definitely going to take a lot of work and everything. So we're definitely going to definitely going to work on that. But um, I am just going to go ahead and release 2.0, and we'll go from there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's the update I had for you guys that I wanted to go over. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I'm going to try to continue work on updating the cutscenes, but it's not going to be the next release. I'm going to go ahead and release 2.0 here in the next few weeks. But unfortunately, the cutscenes are not going to be updated yet. So we'll have to wait on that. Um, and then I do have another announcement that I'm going to be make. I'll make another video later on this week, uh, and it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, I got another announcement coming up, so that's going to be really exciting. So I'll see you guys on the next video. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this or this is pretty good for this video. So I'm just going to go ahead. I had some other things I wanted to talk about, but I'm just going to hold off on that and wait for a next video for that. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And hopefully, I'll have Jedi or Mysteries of the Sith Remastered 2.0 coming out here just uh, just in a little bit. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good night. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release me.